Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So on today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can recreate this layout in Cadence. I'm working on a client's website at the moment and this is what the designs look like. On the left hand side, the image leads all the way across the screen and the content on the right hand side stays within the content max width. Likewise above, you've got the image bleeding all the way to the right hand side and then the content on the left hand side stays within the max content width. So let me show you what it looks like on the front end. I've already built out the first two blocks. So you've got the image bleeding all the way to the right and the content here to the left hand side stays within the max width. And then likewise here, you've got the image to the left bleeds all the way and then content on the right stays within the max width. So let's hop on over to our page. Here it is here. First thing we're going to do is we're going to add in a new row. So clicking here, click row layout and we're going to go for two columns. So on the left, I'm going to add the content. On the right, I'm going to add the image into the section background. So let's start off, we're going with advanced text and I'm just going to come here and I'm going to copy this and paste it all in. Okay, so I've added in the text. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to come to this section here, make sure that it is selected. We can see it's selected because we can see row and section. And then we're going to go to this style tab here and select an image from my media library. So I've got the image there and then I'm going to click select. Now what I want to do is and I want to make sure that our row layout is the same height. So we're going to go to row and just make sure that that is the same height and that the content is all in the middle. Now I want to go back to my section and just give it a height of say 50. Now what you're going to do is you're going to come to your row layout and you're going to make it full width. Then you're going to come here and you're going to toggle use theme content in a width. Once you do that on the right hand side, you will see content max width and then you can click this break right section full width. And the last thing I want to do is just remove the padding to the left and right of the row. So we'll go to advanced click on here and we'll put zero and zero there and click update. Now we can go to our page and let's refresh our page. And there we go. We can see it in action. I hope that you enjoyed this tutorial video. If you want more like this, be sure to subscribe to my channel. I have way more cadence videos to help you create a successful website for your business.